Sydney coastline is really special because despite having this huge city with all of the people that are associated with the city, we still have a lot of sharks either resident or visiting our shoreline. So that tells us that despite all the pressure we're putting on their system, they're still quite healthy. Sharks are apex predators, which means in the ocean, in their environments, they are pretty much in control. They eat everything else in the ocean. And there's a huge amount of variation in shark sizes. So they grow from less than 20 centimetres at maturity all the way up to about 18 metres. As well as being very different in size, they occupy different depths, different parts of the ocean, different parts of Australia, different parts of the world. So there's different sharks in different places, eating different things, doing different things. Um, and behaving really differently. So it's a very, very diverse group. And most sharks don't fit into the kind of stereotypical idea we all have of sharks. There are several hundred species of sharks and only four actually pose any threat to humans. We do get them um, both living here in the harbour, like bull sharks, and visiting the shores, white sharks. Um, however, we still have very, very few numbers of people seeing those sharks, even though we know they're here and even fewer being attacked. So it's very, very rare for shark attack to occur in Sydney. The most shark species that live here and everywhere else in the world are completely harmless, very important members of the ecological community. And whether they're big or small, predators are very, very important in ecosystems. And that's because they control every other food web kind of from the top down, every other level of the food web from the top down. So in this picture, if you were to lose that large shark up the top, what you'd get initially would be a whole lot of these smaller sharks, which would mean that there'd be fewer tuna because the smaller sharks would be eating them. And then eventually there'd be more squid. And so essentially every single level of the food web gets thrown out of whack. And we're seeing this actually happen all over the world because we are targeting large sharks and large fish for our own fisheries. So we're actually catching most of them in some parts of the world and we're seeing sometimes it takes 10 or 20 years but an eventual collapse of entire ecosystems. What you end up with is a huge amount of plankton, which is great if you're a whale but not so good if you're you know, anyone else essentially who lives there. Um, when you get this overpopulation at certain levels of the food web, you get disease because there's more individuals than there should be. You then get collapse of that population because whatever they eat runs out and it just basically leads to degradation of an ecosystem. What we find now in places that are protected from fishing, so they have sharks and they have large pelagic fish, so fish that swim through the water columns, the whole ecosystem is doing really well. They're more robust to things like climate change and coral bleaching and all this stuff that we hear about if the web, food web is intact. If the predators are taken away, then the whole thing is a lot more vulnerable to any other change. And change is happening everywhere in the ocean at the moment.